Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Extension Certification. So we are in chapter two, the very first topic we're talking about is difference between the traditional and Agile approaches. And here we have already covered the first topic in the previous tutorial. We're looking at the second one about the project work products in Agile methodology. So let's understand more about what exactly the work products we generally have in Agile. So generally when you talk about Agile development model, uh, we uh, have a manifesto where we say that we prefer to have working software over the comprehensive documentation so when you talk about agile methodology we have minimal uh, documentation being prepared even if you're preparing any documentation it's going to be lightweight where it is going to be always brief and we generally do not have a heavy documentation being created behind the screens also so why do we do that because we have a good collaboration on the team and also we have a business representative working closely with the development team so we have all the clarities what we would need to understand to develop or test that particular uh software or maybe piece of code at the same time we have a quick and uh you know, frequent response from the client as well that is customer collaboration. So far, we have understood those things. So we understand that putting it all together, we generally do not have to waste our time because we are running on a very short sprint, which is a quick iteration. So of course, we do not have enough time to waste on preparation of the documentation. Rather, we believe in giving the working software to the client to understand better about it. Now, just to give you a more detail on the same thing, we still have categories to determine what kind of work products generally can be considered within an Agile development model. So we have three different uh, types of work products which you can categorize. One is the business-oriented work product, which is from the point of the overall business like requirement specification, user documentation, and all those things. We talk about development work product. That is, of course, your the control flow diagrams, algorithms, or uh, certain things like code, uh, which you can use from the development point of view. And even the unit tests, generally the unit tests here are prepared by the developer. And uh, that's also one of the development work product. Test work product, of course, from the previous things, we know that uh, from the foundation that the test strategy, test plan, level test plan, test cases, test procedures, or maybe, you know, test suites, whatever you create is actually the work product here as well. So right from whatever, you know, discussion you have on the each level, you will be having the work products according to that. Something more about it, of course, uh, these things, uh, what do we have to generalize is to understand that business-oriented uh, work products may generally include the user stories and the acceptance criteria. When you say user stories, of course, these are the requirements in Agile. So just like a traditional approach, you have requirements, we call them as specifications or requirements. Here in Agile, we know them as user stories, which are the smallest uh, you know, part of the epic, where epic is something which is collectively put together as one particular project so epic will be divided into different user stories where the user stories can be shared with different development team to be you know progressed on or maybe work on so uh, an epic will be divided into different user stories and then user stories will be estimated that how much time would you need to do that and then each development team takes one user story and starts working on that and then they break the user stories into smaller tasks and the task will be divided into iterations so that's the cycle when you talk about the work products here and we try to understand that how the user stories will be in more detail uh, we have already understood that what is user story creation in previous tutorial if you wish to know more about it you can always prefer the previous tutorial in the chapter one that how do you write collaborative user story and what is a user story is all about. So generally we take care of uh, the acceptance criteria right from the beginning. And here the automation test will be created by for the unit testing by the developers. Generally they after they write the code, they prepare the unit test themselves and they run that uh, most probably automated. The reason is because uh, in Agile we have less time so we quite often automate a lot of things. Even when it comes to testing, we know that what are the work products. So generally the test will be prepared by the uh, test engineers there and they will be responsible for executing them either manually or automatically using an automation tool. And also not only limited to that, we have many other things like, you know, we talk about the risk catalog, checklist, manual test, defect reports, test result logs or any such thing. But everything will be a lightweight, uh, you know, product, work product which we will be generally creating. So when you talk about just the word pro work product, it generally means anything which is created as a part of your process, which can be reused 
in the life cycle. So generally anything which is created which can be reused within the life cycle is called as a work product and we are talking about that in this tutorial. So uh, one of the small topic here to discuss team uh, that's all from here we'll be coming back with another tutorial in this series next and uh, stay tuned for that in case you're not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe that will help you to get notified with the upcoming tutorials so till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding about the context should you have any other query feel free to comment below i'll be there to assist you with more details on that so thanks for watching the video team till then take care and happy learning